What's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the No Boxing, No Life lace-up training gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junkie rhythm. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of the No Boxing, No Life 16 ounce lace-up training gloves. As you can see, I got these in the blue and white color scheme. And these are famously known to be the Canelo boxing gloves. The No Boxing, No Life brand has been popularized by Canelo and I believe it is his own boxing brand out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, and before I actually get into the review of the gloves, I wanted to show you guys how I went about ordering these gloves online because the website is in Spanish um, and you do have to order these gloves from Guadalajara, Mexico. But on the other side of this, this also uh, a little bit surprising, but these gloves are actually made in Pakistan. Um, and now I'll go in more detail about that here in a little bit, but they, all, they also have a Mexican made version of this glove, um, which I'll show you guys here in a second. So check this out. I'm ordering my no boxing, no life gloves. Um, just go on Google or any search engine. I put in no boxing, no life. And scrolling down, my first option was actually the website uh, from Mexico. So I just clicked on that. <clears throat> and once you click on it, everything is in Spanish, but up here, my computer actually gives me the option to translate, so I clicked on that. Um, if you don't, you can, you know, either maybe you're already fluent in Spanish, so it won't be a problem for you, but if you're not, um, you can use Google Translate and to translate for yourself. So, um, as you can see here, I have start, gloves, protective equipment, hats, accessories, training. Uh, click on gloves, and you can see here, this is their glove collection. So, um, they have these red 8 ounce, 10 ounce yellow, 16 ounce in blue, 18 ounce in white. All four of these come in all the different ounces. They just kind of separate them to show you. Um, but these red, yellow, blue, and white ones, these four are all made in Pakistan. So just keep that in mind. Their training gloves are made in Pakistan. Um, these 10 ounce gloves right here, these Champion HH, as well as this FHH and Champion HH, these three gloves are made in Mexico. So. Um, <clears throat> if you are looking for the genuinely made Mexican gloves, these are the three you'd want to go with. Again, keep in mind they are 10 ounces, so they are a fight glove. So um, I'm going to click on the one that I ordered here so you can see what I, I bought them at. Um, I got the blue 16 ounce training gloves. Um, they're 1,470 pesos. Um, that is basically 76 US dollars once you convert it over to US dollars. So wherever you're at, whatever currency you're using, just use the, the, the conversion table from 1470 Mexican pesos to whatever currency you, you use. And you can see here, it has a description of the glove. Um, they're manufactured by hand, 30 rounds of fight, 100% genuine leather, authorized by the Nevada Athletic Commission there. But nothing technically in wording that says that they were made in Mexico. Now, when you go to their actual <clears throat> nicer looking gloves here, these 10 ounce ones, I'll just click on this. Um, you can see that the price is much higher. These ones, because they use a metallic color, are 3,600 pesos. Um, I don't know what that converts to. That's about more than double. So I would think those are probably about 200 US dollars. And you can see these are 2850 for these. Um, so those are about roughly double in price. I'd say these are about 150. Um, for this color, it doesn't have the same metallic look to the other ones. Um, you can pick the color there. And then when you go down in the description here, you can see that it pretty much has the same wording as the training gloves that I purchased. But here, it actually says made in Mexico. So um, these are their authentic Mexican made gloves. So you, make sure you distinguish between the two before you order <clears throat> and not order these ones made in Pakistan. Now the big question is why do they have their, their training gloves made in Pakistan? That I have no idea why. Um, I would think um, being a Mexican com or Mexican based company that all of their products would be made in Mexico. Not, the, not just their pro fight gloves but including their training gloves. Um, and it also doesn't make sense that they would ship their gloves from Pakistan all the way to Mexico and then reship them back out to wherever their customers are at. I would assume a lot of their customers are here in the States, over in the UK, and, and everywhere else in the world. So again, maybe that's just to cut costs. I have no idea why. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that process. And then ordering the gloves, if you click on here, you can add to the cart. See card and finish. So once you go to your cart, 
Um, you can see there that I, mm, I have two gloves in there, but whatever, I'll just finish order. And then from here, um, you wanna enter your email or your, your, um, your cell phone number. A dirección de envio is basically your address, your first name, your last name. Your surname, which would be like Mr. or if you're a king or a prince. Um, dirección is your actual address or your street number. Um, the city you live in. Um, the state, if you're in the States. Your um, country you live in and your postal code, your zip code, and your cell phone number or your telephone number. Continue. Once you continue on there, um, it'll calculate your shipping uh, depending on where you live um, in the world. Uh, um, for me, it came out to be about um, 125 US dollars, including shipping, to ship from Mexico to, to Arizona. Um, so that's how much it costs for me. So uh, there you have it. Hope you guys found this informative. Okay, guys, so let's go on to the five things. The first is going to be the glove design. This is a traditional lace up style glove. With the profile, I would compare this to the rival Guerrero sparring gloves that I have. It's not a huge glove. It's a medium to a compact profile. So the width and the length of the glove is nice for somebody that has medium to small size hands. Um, you can see these are indeed a lace-up version. The primary color is this royal blue with the white accent with the black piping. Um, you can see that the stitching on this is actually really nice. I didn't find any um, frayed stitching. The leather quality is definitely not on the level of Cleto Reyes or Casanova. Um, these gloves are made in Pakistan, so the leather is definitely not the same um, that you would find in a genuine Mexican-made glove. Um, the leather, I would describe it as being definitely much thinner um, than Mexican-style gloves and a lot more pliable and soft. Um, so <clears throat> you can see right here that the stitching is all pretty you know, nice. You can see that the the grip bar is done nicely. It's nice and firm. The attached thumb is all leather construction there. The leather is bonded nicely. It's all tucked in nicely on the fingertips. You can see that the leather has a nice sheen to it. It's not super shiny. It's not dull. It's not a matte sheen to the leather. It has a kind of a medium shine to it. You can see it has that slanted logo of the no boxing, no life on the back of the hand. Then you have the no boxing, no life embroidered patch on the back of the wrist with the 16 ounce weight tag right there. And the balance of the glove is pretty good. It's distributed pretty nicely. It's not top heavy. You don't have a lot of cushion up in the knuckle area. You have definitely have some good cushioning throughout the midsection of the glove towards the wrist. And you have about a half inch layer of padding for the wrist support as well. So as, as far as being balanced, you can see it's actually a fairly balanced glove. Um, so I definitely like that feature. The inside uses a standard polyester nylon liner on the inside. And to show you guys the tag as well, it has the no boxing, no life tag right there. But you can actually see that it says made in Pakistan there. So again, these are not a Mexican made glove. They're 10 ounce Pro Fight gloves are, uh, but they're training gloves are not. Now comfort of the glove, putting this glove on, it is a very soft and broken in glove. If I were to describe the actual comfort and feel of it, these remind me of a Pro Fight glove, like the Clatoreya Safe Tech gloves, and the fact that it's, it's a very pillowy glove. You can see just how soft everything feels. It's not a rigid glove. So you can even see the foam that they use for the wrist support here is, is soft. And then the actual foam on the thumb right here is very soft touch too. You can really push down on it. The foam they use in here is two layers of latex on the inside and that's it. So it's not a traditional multi-layer glove that you have a hard layer, a medium, and a less dense layer or horse here. This is all latex. And then you can also see right here just how soft the foam is on the knuckle area. So these are definitely a puncher's glove. When I use these on the heavy bag, um, it really just breaks right through. I mean, once I punch that bag, the bag just sinks right into the foam, the latex, and I make contact with my knuckles. So great if you want feedback, great on the mitts, um, but not so good for sparring in my opinion, just because they really, this really just collapses in once you punch with these gloves. I actually have to use uh, my Skulltech gel pads uh, with these gloves just because the foam breaks down so easy, uh, as you can see right here. 
Um, the overall uh, placement of the thumb is actually really nice. I don't feel that it's pushed out too far. Um, and it, it, it doesn't you know, feel like I dig in with my thumb at the tip of the uh, thumb compartment. So they did a very nice job with that. Um, I wish that they would put um, maybe some kind of cloth or felt liner on the fingertip as well as the inside of the thumb. Um, once you get to right about here on the fingertip, it's just all leather on the inside there. So your finger and your thumb is basically just sitting against the underside grain of the leather on the inside. And again, that's just more of a comfort thing. Um, it's a luxury issue, but something worth noting. Um, the grip bar is nice. When I make a, you know, make a fist, I can make a really good fist with this glove. And again, because it being so broken in and soft, this would be a great glove to use on the miss just because you can really get that, that flexibility you want in punching and just that nice good pop against the mitts. Uh, the wrist support is really nice as well uh, because you get that half inch layer of foam against your wrist. Once you tie these off, it really locks your wrist in um, and is very comfortable. So overall, the comfort of this glove is really nice. Uh, performance wise, again, um, the foam is just latex foam. So you would definitely are going to break down once you start hitting the bags. And the longevity of these gloves will definitely come into question uh, later down the road just because the foam is so soft uh, so keep that in mind if you are looking to get these gloves now cost wise these gloves are about 1470 mexican pesos which converted over to the u.s dollars is about 76 dollars um, the actual cost of shipping was right around 50 dollars uh, international dhl shipping so out the door these gloves were about 120 dollars uh, for these gloves, uh, which I think are definitely a high uh, just for the quality of these gloves. I was expecting more of a Mexican made uh, glove that was authentic, uh, but instead I got a Pakistan made glove uh, with just kind of the no boxing, no life logo on here. Um, if you were to just take this logo off and this tag, this would be pretty much your run of the mill uh, Pakistan made glove minus the uh, no boxing, no life. Uh, tag and logo on it. So I hope you guys found this video informative. If you guys have any comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put all the information in the description box below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.